And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Fallout 4, make sure it's like button, make sure it's subscribe button, let's get back into it.
So, are you finished or what? I think I got everything. If you don't know, how am I supposed to? Why don't you come back when you're ready? You still here? I'm pretty Excuse certain me. I gave you a you mission to complete. You better have some good news. Affirmative. Impressive. Uh -huh. As long as the Brotherhood's around, those abominations don't stand a chance. Whenever you're ready for another. I'm ready. All right. I don't want to see your face. Watch your back out there. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Of course I am. <laughs> I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? We call our ship the Pridrum. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride.
aboard, sir. Permission granted. Welcome back. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rank as a person. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Max has approved your request to place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the prison and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Covenant. Captain. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled through the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Ma Anything else? Yeah. Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until... Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I... Dismissed, Initiate. Welcome. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every, every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute's scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Sith. A robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sith are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Have you ever fired a minigun? Elder, I care like about her, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight, and, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. 
I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Don't let Ingram catch you standing there around. There it is. Be on report before you can blow. Thanks, brother. I owe you. Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the common ones. Proctor Ingram? So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. If it was up to me, I'd take every feral mutian synth and shoot them into space. Age. I promise that I won't find it. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. 
The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you... Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to... I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I... Just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... Interacting with... Right. And since I'm stuck up here, man... Sure. After you're done with the meat... In the meantime, if you ever need... Dr. Tegan. Mods. Remember, Dr. Tegan come find everyone. me when you're done meeting the rest of the crew. Plenty of work if you need it. Come back when you're done introducing yourself. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Sure, go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Wouldn't vault tech screening process have caught this already? vault tech screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? No, never have. Very well. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Ah, oh, good. You'll find me here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Right. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of gloves. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I... Mm -hmm. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You m Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel need. Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you... Right. And if you wish to be assigned to a recent... In it. If you find any technical documents... Proctor Teagan. What brings you to me today? I'll take a look. Got some.
familiarized yourself with the Quidnip's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed.
watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris here. Judging from the amount of dust present, it's safe to assume we're the first people to investigate this location in quite a while.
carefully for any technical documentation or pre-war artifacts. Point is splattered, Larry! <laughs> And dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, long come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, sister. It's good to know taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, 
We need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the common room. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Anything you need, Elder? You just say the word. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me Immediately. Any questions, Knight? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Any suggestions on where I should look next? Whatever you recovered from the courser at Green Tech, you should bring it to someone who knows how to manipulate Institute technology. Perhaps it will allow you to unlock the mystery of their knack for teleportation. This information could be the final piece of the puzzle. The moment you learn anything concrete, you're to report it to me immediately. Is there anything else, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.